does the government uh, have any, uh, you know, sort of plan for the expected number of electric vehicles to come on the roads in regional areas, uh, both from obviously city folk travelling on weekends and then, you know, the uptake in regional areas and the expected uh, demand or, you know, for charging stations across roads in Australia? Uh, Senator, uh, the Department of Climate Change is taking the lead on the trunk infrastructure for electric vehicles. Right. So I think the question, including in regional areas, and uh, we will liaise with them and work with them, but I think that question is best put to the Department of Climate Change. Okay. I guess why I'm asking is this is, you know, for regional transport, you know, regional areas and transport, um, it's... I mean, I would have thought someone's going to have to collect some data to anticipate the increase in demand um, and you know this is going to be a concern going on into the future if you've got cars breaking down 50 kilometres from the nearest town uh, and, and things like that. You've got uh, Senator, so, so again, as part of the, the EV strategy um, consultation closed at the end of October uh, and the Department of Climate Change is is leading on the trunk infrastructure associated with that. We're working with them. Uh, I think there was 500 submissions. Uh, both us and the Department of Climate Change are working through those submissions. Where the trunk infrastructure goes for EVs is is something that will need to be considered um, uh, in regions in particular, but all over Australia. So that is something that will need to be considered and will be considered as part of the EV strategy. Do you have a date as to when you, you'll have that strategy finalised by? So again, that, that part is being led by the Department of Climate Change, so they think that they would be best suited uh, after the consultation and the 500 submissions have been gone through. I think it will need to go back through into government through a cabinet process. OK, because I just know, tell me if I'm wrong, Senator Kenneman, but I think this, that bill that we passed this morning was backdated to July 1st this year. So there's the uptake will be occurring now. So we're going to have an increased demand. So, you know, we're going to get, need to get some of these charging stations out there ASAP, wouldn't you agree? As and I think increases. there are some charging centres and stations already out there. Uh, in relation to the, the EV strategy more broadly and across the country, uh, as I mentioned, the, that's the EV strategy that's being consulted on uh, and going through at the moment and will uh, we'll go through uh, back to Cabinet and is being led by the Department of Climate Change. Can I just show me if it does assist Senator Rennick? I know the yes. West Australian Government has invested, made the announcement in building these places in Western Australia throughout the gold fields, the Pilbara, yep. the Murchison, the Kimberley. Um, and and I, I can get that info if that yeah, helps yeah, you no, for WA. Yeah. You know, Broome, Kununurra, all that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Steve. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.